Libraries and books, they naturally go together. But libraries and artists' books, it's not so simple. The art bit of the equation strongly suggests a need to display the work, but the book bit of it suggests something different. Turn that page, take that book away, live with that book. Artist books are made by artists to stimulate thought, to inspire and to give pleasure. They're creative works which are more art than books. They're examples of bookmaking craft which sit on the peripheries of publishing. In the British Library, the UK's National Library, we see the need to represent the extraordinary array of voices and technical approaches exemplified in the artist's book. And we have long been determined to collect, preserve and make those books available in a research context. But there's something more inherent in the artist's book that speaks further beyond academia, though respecting and including it. Until artist books now, we didn't have an immediate way of sharing and celebrating that. How do artist books fit into such an environment? How do they meet their full potential? Where do they find the space to breathe and spread? Artist books now is a series of events at the British Library, acting as a platform in which we can share our enthusiasm, information and knowledge of artist books. We set out to open artist books to the wider public by bringing together the makers and readers. Artist Books Now is about thinking aloud with the books, noting their importance and value to both book and art lovers, as well as the research community taking into consideration the varying levels of knowledge and familiarity with the subject. The series was co-curated by uh, artists and researchers Egidia Ceretseite and Sophia Loss and the librarians Jeremy Jenkins and Richard Price. Our first evening themed Here and Now. Four artists displayed conversed and revealed their books, thus letting us into the world of thought, inspirations and aspirations. This evening captured the zeitgeist of here and now. The themes here and now and place suitably baggy to offer artists latitude to explore their works comfortably. Some months following Artists Books Now America Latina the third evening in our series. Artist Carolyn Trant produced the series The Daily Printed Horoscope. She was inspired to produce these by the carton era she had seen at the event. This is an example of artists' books now informing artistic practice. The second series contemplated artists' books, then explored writing and finished with Futures. We held six evening events which sold out well in advance. 30 artists, academics and librarians had appeared. We had uh, questions raised and answered, new works inspired. We followed the widest definition of artist books and steered the presentations to illustrate the extensive sweeping and broad potential of what an artist book can be. Central to the success was the host, who guided the evening through the range of personalities, practices, forms, shapes and sizes, up and down the scale of bookishness. Fundamental to these events was the enthusiasm and engagement of the audience, witnessing artists share their work, discussing it with them, Interactions handing them round a framework for participants and the audience to explore artists' books from new perspectives. The artist table brought the audience into close proximity with the artist and their work, straddling the space between an exhibition case and a traditional talk. Mesh different artist practices, examined and thought about work which was contemporary and local. 
The art is presented two by two either side of intermission and the audience had an opportunity to handle the works while chatting to the artist. What works to illustrate one artist's practice would not necessarily be appropriate for another. A diversity of approach kept the audience engaged also. The key purpose of artist books now is to place the artist book in the centre of the library's contemporary collections, influence and contribute to both academic and cultural discourse. Meanwhile, the British Library is just one of many homes for artist books, including personal homes, our individual homes. The relatively low price of many artist books makes them collectible and shareable. Season two followed with artist books now writing, connecting us with the library's writing exhibition. The evening confronted us with a semic writing leading into a calligraphy of the ancient conific form, then to spatial design using Arabic characters, and poetry fashioned from the detritus picked up on Arctic adventures, all pushed against the form of bookishness, and illustrated the international nature of artist books now. Contemplating Artist Books Now connects the contemporary artist books with the wider themes and activities around the British Library. When reflecting on the Buddhism exhibition, we explored how concepts relating to Buddhism and Buddhist practice are represented in artist books. For what turned out to be our last live event before Covid struck, the theme was futures. Where were artist books heading? And, as importantly, what was the human future artist books were hinting at? Reflecting back on the last two seasons, we can see a clear outline of concerns we addressed and questions that were raised, highlighting the elastic and unfixed understanding of artist books practice today. We thought aloud on the synergy between the book and art curation as part of that relationship, and importance of collections. We have raised the profile of the artist specifically and independent publishing generally. Each evening was accompanied by a programme. In the first series, these programmes were artists' books by design made by Egidia and Sophie, and of course made their way into the library collection. The second series, the programs were folded leaves, had the aspiration of artist book. The final program encompassed images the audience added to the feedback forms from earlier events. In the audience survey, the overwhelming majority of respondents were positive in their feedback forms. The necessity for a bigger room being one of the main criticisms. Comments included Make more space around the tables for handling books. More time for discussion at the end. Enjoy the evening. More space for viewing. Space between seats. Pleased with the quality of the speakers. Format. Informal, relaxed, intimate. Found the format engaging would like it to be longer. The British Library is one of many homes for artist books. The institution, by its size and breadth, provides a physical space for them to be opened, unfurled, revealing the artist's vision. Their shape and form are intrinsic to the narrative as the letterpress on their pages. Looking back, I suppose the key ingredients for taking artist books out into an audience are the obvious ones. Balancing space for a decent sized audience to share the privilege of seeing artist and book together with the intimacy of being close to the book object itself. The ideal environment for such an event might be an autopsy lecture theatre, a stacked audience looking down on an artist and host as they draw attention to the nuances of their creation. Of course, Artist Books Now isn't the only way the library has sought to share artists with a wider public. Our blogs frequently highlight artist books 
and they have been part of exhibitions which are not necessarily about the form itself. I think, though, the success and explorations in the series have had um, an internal impact on us. It meant, for example, it was much easier to pitch successfully for a case of contemporary artist books in the library's treasures gallery. Our first display of that kind opened in January 2020, amid a space normally reserved for important and exquisite objects like the Lindisfarne Gospels. Well, artist books are important and exquisite.